I would like to thank Rainbow Push and um, Reverend Jesse Jackson for coming out and giving us the time and helping us get recognition. I really do appreciate it and hope that we get the change that we need. We signed a couple today. We signed a couple today. today. Yeah. We we'll put no rent. We made no rent. Correct. 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 When the rest leave. When the rest, rest leave. leave. The rent will be paid. Rent will be paid. No rent for rats. No rent for rats. No rent for rats. No no rent rent. Rent. And now I'm going to introduce this segment to you. I know everybody says, what are y'all doing over there at PUSH? Well, we're doing a lot of things. One, we're looking at a HUD subsidized housing. How is it the government has been treating those who live on the margins, those whose rents have to be subsidized? How are they uh, being treated? And one example of the poor living conditions we found in Concordia Place Apartments. It's in the city of Chicago. It's one of the HUD subsidized properties managed by Capital Realty Group. And so Bishop Tavis, a grant will share where we are with that project, how it is we have moved the people's issues about living with infestation of rats and mice and roaches and mold, how we are moving them towards healthy living and sustainable lifestyles. Bishop Grant will share more information with you. This is Bishop Tavis Grant, the National Field Director for the Rainbow Push Coalition. I want to thank you for your prayers and your support for the leadership and legacy of Reverend Jesse Lewis Jackson as we continue across America to deal with the uh, issue of fair housing, sustainable and, and livable housing. Our project here you know, on the south side of Chicago at the Concordia Place Apartments has moved forward. Reverend Jackson met with uh, Capital Realty Group executives, the Concordia Tenant Association, along with uh, the Midwestern uh, Administrator for HUD, uh, Mr. James Cunningham, and we move forward with uh, signing a very important community covenant uh, on a number of agreements that range from a short-term, mid-term action plan where there's going to be repair, renewal, and rehabilitation that will take place in a comprehensive manner at Concordia, as well as a number of measures that uh, work towards restoring the dignity and the respect of the predominant occupants, which are African-American women. This is our next step to finally getting something done. I like the new improvements that they finna start having. I hope they take the no parking signs down so we can park. Hopefully everything is gonna be updated soon and we can see change. I'm glad that we've come together as a community to get things in order and I'm here for the change. And so we were very effective in Capital Realty putting forth a corporate zero tolerance uh, policy as it relates to intimidation, retaliation, and sexual harassment. Equally so, we're working on uh, pilot projects to make sure that COVID testing and the vaccine is made available to them as they live in a food desert where every, uh, all of the high rates, high rates of infant mortality, high rates of unemployment, high rates of inadequate education and access to capital. And what we've done so far is what we are going to attempt to do in several places around the country. And so if you have a concern for the unhoused and the homeless, and you have a concern and a passion uh, for those who are living uh, below the national poverty line, you have a passion for change, I want you to go to the site listed on the screen, www.rainbowpush.org, or you can call us here in Chicago at 773-373-3366, freedom on your dial. Don't ever forget that we're fighting for the poor, not fighting the poor, and we are keeping hope alive. Thank you.